Hey and welcome to Mini Gokin Reviews. Today we'll be looking at the Snail Shell Bunny Girl Eileen. Yet another Snail Shell release that I yet again am covering. So what is this? Well, what this isn't is a bunny girl. This is a bunny Yaru. How can I tell? Honestly, I don't know. It's kind of a vibe. Although, the bunny girl alpha being a western invention, as well as a subversion of traditional and modest attire, does fit the docket pretty well. And honestly, she just looks like known Gyaru Mike Wazowski. Unfortunately, I don't know who designed this, because whoever you are, you did a fantastic job. There's something playfully attractive about her that I find immensely appealing, even if the color choices are rather gaudy. I mean, pink hair, a bunny girl alpha that's white of all colors? But it's gaudy in a way that a Gyaru should be. Part of me wishes she had some form of stockings, but the exposed legs here do work better all things considered. All things being Gyaru, of course. And if she had stockings, it would come off as more modest. Which would be against the point. I like Gyarus, okay? What I don't like is some of the cuts for articulation, which if you look at any other plastic figure, like it or not, this is how you do it. This kind of ass ass is here to stay, and is something I'm probably going to have to comment on until the day I die. A new thing that sucks is this back cut. Unlike her other snail shell Gyaru counterpart, there's nothing to hide this cut with, so she just has this flesh segmentation on her back, which I'm making sound worse than it is. But there just hasn't been a snail shell figure that's this exposed here. Man, the weird shit I'm willing to accept for articulation. Which, as always, is pretty good. Also, as always, the eyes are articulated, but this time there's a new tool to move them. The Mini Tool Neo. And it's... Definitely better. Just the length alone makes it easier to handle. I don't know how to transition into this. Is my first confession. My second confession is that I've never liked the double joints that the snail shell figures had. It's fine for the legs, but for the arms it just looks so unnatural. Like she has a square elbow. Or tentacles for arms. It's not a deal breaker, although it looks like an arm breaker. Arms do not normally bend this far. Which is why I'm glad that's not the case here. This looks fine. Finally. Anyway. You get a smile and a wink, kyaha. She's got hands, so of course, she be on her phone. Apparently this phone is supposed to turn into this gun. Which I don't know about giving her weapons, it feels kinda out of place. Like these bunny scimitars, which... Scimitars? These are more like kukris. They also actually come with this motorcycle, sold separately, for 20 bucks. Eh. Plastic quality wise, it's pretty nice. I was expecting it to be a piece of shit in that regard. However, there are a few problems. The first being she can't even ride it. She can sit on it, kind of, but it looks wrong. Even in the promotional images, she's not really riding it. The second problem is it feels mismatched with her. A bunny suit isn't really cyber wear. Which is why you get this jacket. Nah, just kidding. Sold separately. Also for $20. Ringing me dry, aren't you, snail shell? Also ringing me dry are these option feet. Sold separately. I'm kidding. Not all the sold separately part. These actually haven't released yet. Wait for the succubus. I got the feet for that. I want us to taste the feet. Speaking of feet, how does she... Stand. But if you want to get more out of her, you can use this included stand. 
which you'll need to use this holy tail that goes in her ass. So you can then stick the stand into it, and therefore don't have to use the awful claw stand. If you don't want to use a stand at all, you also get an unholy tail. Only problem is, these tails get dirty very easily. Not from sticking it in her ass, but because they're this fuzzy material. Thankfully, it also cleans very easily with water and soap. Size comparisons. Guts and guts. Overall, this figure looks great and includes improvements over previous releases, so I can definitely recommend it if you like how it looks and don't mind the price. Unfortunately, it's out of stock at Gundammit, but you can pre-order other snail shell figures there, like the succubus I talked about earlier. If you've never used Gundammit, I've used them a lot. They've been pretty great. Of course, don't forget to enter in my code in the support your favorite reviewer thing. There is no meme. It just really helps out. That's about it, thank you to the patrons. I've heard that one of them is a fucking dumbass, and it's definitely this one. Of course, thank you to Photon Lab Reviews for their recording contributions, and I'll see y'all next time.